Sometimes it's useful to measure what's called the components of a vector. The components of a vector basically mean the uh, amount of the vector which is directed along the x-axis and along the y-axis. So in our first example, we have a 5.2 kilometer vector, which is pointing in a direction of uh, 62 degrees clockwise from the positive y-axis. And if we want to break this vector into its components, um, the first thing to do is to construct a right triangle. And the way I usually do this is I make a rectangle around the vector, which kind of helps me see where the, the sides of the right triangle are going to be. So I can see that I'm going to have a, a side that's directed along the positive y-axis here, and I'm going to label that y. And I'm going to have another side of a right triangle which is directed along the, kind of parallel to, I should say, the positive x-axis. And I'll label that x. So now I have a right triangle, and I can use my basic right triangle trigonometry to measure the, or calculate, I should say, uh, the x and the y components. So if we start with the x component here, we can see that we have the opposite side of this triangle. We know this angle is 62 degrees, the hypotenuse is 5.2 kilometers, and we'd like to find the opposite side. And since the sine of 62 degrees is equal to the opposite side, x over the hypotenuse, 5.2 kilometers, then x is going to be equal to 5.2 kilometers multiplied by the sine of 62 degrees and that turns out to be 4.6 kilometers after we round it off to two significant digits. Over here, if we want to find the y component of this 5.2 kilometer vector, you can see that this y component corresponds to the adjacent side of this triangle. So the adjacent over the hypotenuse is going to be the cosine. So I can say that the cosine of 62 degrees is going to be equal to the adjacent side, which I will label y over the hypotenuse, which is 5.2 kilometers. So solving for y, we have y equals 5.2 kilometers multiplied by the cosine of 62 degrees, so with the help of my calculator uh, I can see that 5.2 kilometers multiplied by uh, 62, by the cosine of 62 degrees is 2.44 which rounds off to 2.4 kilometers. So the y component is 2.4 kilometers. And you can see that the y component and the x component are two vectors which, when they are added head to tail, um, give the original vector, and that's the way to check your work.